For more debates, updates and bonus content, sign up at thebigconversation.show. I just wanted to make a point about how astonishingly diverse and vast the range of divination practices actually is. Uh, And it's not just that Guillaume is going to agree with me about the boiling of donkey's heads. He's going to agree with me almost right across the board that about sort of attempts to define what God or the gods want, to, to, to divine what the gods or the God or the gods want are going to be mistaken from his point of view. And he's going to dismiss them on more or less the grounds that I'm going to dismiss them. But he may make a kind of exception. I expect he will for maybe maybe it's not exactly divination, but for certain things to do with prophecies and miracles associated with the Christian religion. And from a naturalist point of view, that's kind of going to look like special pleading because you have this nice uniform account of everybody else except for yourself, right? And then, and then the naturalist says, we'll just extend it to you as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so how do you deal with that one, Guillaume? Because, uh, yeah, are you, if you're going to dis- discount the, the Mormons and the Muslims and the Buddhists and everyone who's got their, you know, their claimed prophecies and, you know, religious experiences and everything else, but say, ah, but the, the Christian story, those are all true. Yeah, is, is it special pleading? Yeah, it's going to be special pleading if we don't take into account the reasons. I think it's going to boil down to this to justify this. So obviously, there, there are quite a bit of uh, experiences that I currently have to dismiss in principle because I don't have the specifics, right? So when I'm hearing of the donkey boiling head and pr- predicting the future there, I don't have any specifics. So I have to say, well, it doesn't sound right. Uh, I really don't think that's really accurate. Um, but you know, it's for, for me to be accused of special pleading, I would need to have uh, zero or equal reasons across the board and then I pick one that I prefer and say no this one is good but I don't have any better reasons I think I'm in a position to say that I have better reasons for Christianity for Christian belief and for interpreting my own story as genuinely experiencing the living God than I do about the boiling of the donkey's head so it's going to come down to an exercise in comparing reasons and I suspect that my view is going to come out on top but admittedly I don't have all of this data in front of me that I can compare and say I'm just going to say I'm not engaging in special pleading. Uh, I think it's going to boil down to the reasons there. So so there are some religious traditions that clearly are rivals to Christianity in their breadth, scope, depth, and so on. So do you think that you would have had to have looked really carefully into, say, Islam, um, Hinduism, Buddhism, Taoism, and so on, in order to be justified in um, dismissing all of them? Uh, I don't know. I think that the presence of religious experience, or at least claims of religious experience in those other traditions, uh, doesn't have to be exclusively dismissed as being inauthentic, right? So, um, I mean, I don't need, uh, like, God can reveal himself in all sorts of contexts, some of which might be non-Christians, and yet without thereby affirming the religion. So if I think of my uh, friend Nabil Qureshi, who was a former Muslim who became a Christian, um, he tells this story in the book in in format and tone very much like mine uh, of explaining his conversion story and using it to pepper it with apologetic uh, discussions of of Christianity versus Islam. Um, He clearly tells of stories that are are very providential in the same nature of very improbable events that God seemingly orchestrates from the time he was young, where he was clearly in the Muslim context, and in which case he concluded that, yeah, God exists and that he's there and that he cares for his life. And I don't need as a Christian to dismiss that as being genuinely God revealing himself to Nabil in his young age. But then I follow his story and he turns out to become a Christian again with series of visions and dreams and various intellectual conversations mixed in. So similar ingredients to my conversion story happening in a Muslim context. And yet, in my view, by my lights, supporting the Christian understanding of, uh, of God in all this. 